So a second person tried to shoot Donald Trump. Now, remember, the last shooter was in Pennsylvania. He used an AR style rifle and he gave money to the DNC when he was younger, registered as a Republican, stayed there until death. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the next shooter because there is a second now. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is from NBC News. Here is the short of it. The FBI is investigating an apparent second attempt to assassinate former President Donald Trump. A suspect concealed in ambushes pointed an AR style rifle with a scope into Trump's West Palm Beach, Florida golf course from outside the fence line today. Trump was about 400 yards away, officials said. The Secret Service spotted the person and open fired. He was later arrested. So the last guy was actually killed by the uh, Secret Service. This guy did not. Um, so the suspect, Ryan Wesley Ruth, 58 years old, also had a GoPro camera and a backpack with ceramic tiles when he was near the golf course, authorities said. Court records show more than 100 criminal counts have been filed against Ruth in North Carolina. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Ruth uh, spoke on social media and to news outlets about his efforts to support and recruit people to fight and support of Ukraine in its war against Russia. He was very big into that. So let's go ahead and talk a bit more about that. Um, the man in custody today, we already talked about that. So, uh, he was convicted of possession weapons of mass destruction, a machine gun. He has more criminal accounts, uh, towards him allegedly, um, including the vehicle chases, being in possession of a machine gun, like I just uh, said, like we just went over, a uh, stolen property, and a hit and run. Now, let's go ahead and go to this guy's Twitter. But before I do that, real quick, actually, let me scroll down here. Uh, let's see this right here. Oh, yeah. So uh, it appears, Ruth, this is talking about his political affiliations because it always gets uh, thrusted whenever somebody does a mass shooting, or especially in this case, aim at a president. Um, it also appears Ruth while living in Hawaii made several small contributions to the, to the uh, political action committee and the democratic fundraising platform act blue, including 19 payments between 2019 and to 2020 in amounts that ranged from $1. So one Dolan to $25, according to, the uh, federal election and commission records act blue did not immediately respond Sunday night to an email request for comment about Ruth donations uh, to the group. Now let's go ahead and go over to his Twitter account, which I actually can't do because his Twitter account has been suspended and I, and I assume deleted, but somebody took a screenshot or a video feed of his entire Twitter uh, timeline. It is about five minutes. Of course, I'm not going to play all of that, but it is pretty unhinged. He had tweets talking to, well, trying to talk to Biden and Harris to attack Donald Trump. He had tweets to Elon Musk. He was tweeting at a Texas Republican, uh, Tony Gonzalez. He was asking uh, Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell to call him and it was very bizarre, very bizarre uh, stuff. Uh, he was giving out his phone number. I'm not sure if that was his actual phone number, but he was telling elected uh, officials to call him. So just a very weird individual. Now, here we go to this part right here, because he did give money to the uh, Act Blue and donate it to Democratic causes. But here is uh, his Twitter account before getting deleted at real Donald Trump. While you were my choice in 2016, he spelt it uh, backwards 2106, but he means uh, 2016. I, I in the world hoped that President Trump would be different and better than the candidate. But we were all greatly disappointed, and it seemed you are getting worse and devolving, and you are retarded. I will be glad when you are gone. So, that 
um, doesn't, you know, looking at it now, we can see that he was not the biggest fan of Donald Trump. He voted for Trump in 2016, believing that Donald Trump would go in there and I and I assume drain the uh, swamp, get rid of whatever person or whatever thing that this uh, individual did not like. And of course, Donald Trump didn't do it. So he got really angry with Donald Trump. And then he tweets at hold up. Let's go back here a little bit. Let's scroll to this one right here. Here we go. So at Nikki Haley, this is of January 8th of this year. Please join Vivek Ramaswamy as a team of president and vice president. We must do this now to create a winning ticket now that we will that we all can get behind. Please do not be selfish and arrogant. Partner now to change the course of this election. Break norms and give us an option. So while he did uh, donate to the Democratic Party to act blue, he did vote for Donald Trump in 2016. And it seems like he got a very bad taste in his mouth because he feels like Donald Trump didn't do what he expected Donald Trump to do. So then he... I guess, switched over to supporting Nikki Haley and Vivek Ramaswamy. Both are Republicans. Now, Nikki Haley is um, not the biggest fan of Donald Trump, which is why I assume that uh, this guy, Ryan Ruth, decided to go and at Nikki Haley. That is what I assume. Now, we have the responses from uh, Kamala Harris, been briefed. She is glad he is safe. Uh, violence has no place in America. Very standard stuff. Also talked about uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden was briefed on it as well. But I do want to go back real quick because I did notice this this comment from End Wokeness. You called him a threat to democracy and dictator uh, on day one. You own this. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this briefly because this is kind of a play that a lot of Republicans want to make. Because oftentimes Democrats accurately point out when Republicans say something that is false, completely unhinged, they stir up violence. An example, live the TikTok. They target specific individuals or specific groups or companies, companies, and then those companies get bomb threats. We saw the light just recently where uh, people are talking about Haitians eating cats or eating dogs or eating whatever. Now, they are getting death threats. They are getting bomb threats. Now, Kamala Harris saying what Donald Trump said is not the same. When Republicans lie and direct anger and violence towards a, gr a group of people that didn't do anything, didn't say anything, completely different. Pointing out and saying, hey, isn't it kind of messed up that Donald Trump calls immigrants uh, or, or say immigrants spoil the blood of the nation. Or he talks about in my last video where I showed you Donald Trump saying that uh, you, ha you have these um, immigrants who are coming around raping women, just absolute nonsense. Don't fall for it. It is not equivalent. Now let's go ahead and go on to Trump's response because Donald Trump, of course, did put out a statement alert. I am Donald Trump. Fear not, I am safe and well, and no one was hurt, thank God. But there are people in this world who will do whatever it takes to stop us. And I will not stop fighting for you. I will never surrender. And then he has his uh, donation page, which go up from $24 on the list that you can uh, uh, select. There is also an other, but it goes from $24 to... Three thousand and three hundred dollars. So that is very interesting. He is, of course, fundraising off of him being shot at once again. So there you have it. Um, not sure what further information is going to come out, but it is going to be interesting to see where this leaves. Now, also, of course, Donald Trump being shot at as is bad. Okay, obviously, it's not good. And the political violence is not good, obviously. I feel like I got to say it because if I don't, I don't know. I'm not big enough to really clip. <laughs> well, well uh, clip, chump is they call it, I guess. But 
I figured I would just put that.